Good morning, Mount Olive. I've got some quick math for you here. Hopefully I can explain this properly. But <clears throat> um, just doing a recap of um, TJ's message, winning the battle of the mind, thoughts of the past. All right, so if you have $100 and you invest $100 in the stock market and tomorrow the stock market plummets and you lose 50% of what you invested, so 100 minus 50%, easy math, we have $50 left, okay? So we just lost 50%. If the following day it goes back up by 50%, watch what happens. Now remember that you originally invested 100, went down to 50. Okay, so now we're gonna go up by 50%, but it's only 50%, or it's we're going up by 50% of what um, you originally invested. So $50 plus 50, percent is only plus 25 so it gets you back up to 75 okay so you originally started here you lost 50 percent but then the market rebounded by 50 percent and 50 percent only gets you back up to 75 percent of what you had okay so you're not even back to your original investment well, then if it goes, if you do 50% again, plus 50%, now you're finally $12.50 past your original investment, and now you're back into the what we would call the green. You're making money. So I'll, I want to reference that because we, we as Christians act like we're not in a fight. We act like the enemy can't come in and steal 50% of what the Lord has done in our life. He can't come in and it says in the word that he has schemes. A scheme is a calculated plan to disrupt what the Lord wants to do in our life. Okay. And so another way of looking at that too is that just as we, before we ever come to the Lord, if we spend a lot of time feeding our flesh, sowing to the flesh, you know, the world is um, being implanted in us. And so I'll, I'll, I'll make a, uh, I'll point that back to the hundred. So if we're originally at a hundred, every time we're getting some of the world, world, it's taking us down and down and down and down and down to that uh, 50%. It's robbing things from us. And then we get saved. And yes, our God is, um, infinite he's enormous he's powerful he can do things immediately but often and you can see in his word he he wants to teach us through a process coming back up to that hundred percent learning his word learning how to fight learning this uh, to fight the spiritual realm learning to dig deep and so i use that to remind you that um We've got to dig deep in this fight. You know, the battle of your mind, the battle of your thoughts of, of the past of guilt and shame, um, it's not easy. And unfortunately, this the, it, it almost gets more difficult when we become saved because we become aware. And we're, when we're aware, um, you know, it... it the, the spiritual fight begins, and that's when it gets really difficult, okay? But the good news is, is that when we exercise what the Lord has um, told us to do in His Word, He He multiplies it by twofold, threefold, fourfold, tenfold, okay? And that's what came to my mind. So one of TJ's proof texts was uh, to face your past, to face your guilt, to face your shame. And... Uh, his proof text was John, 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and, so not just forgiveness of sins, 
So don't leave it there with your relationship with the Lord. We all too often come in and we confess and we have a, a profession of faith. We get baptized and we just leave it there. That's when the awareness comes. That when we're like, that's when we realize like, oh my gosh, I lost fifty percent of my investment. And then the, the work begins to regain that investment. To um, you know, there's an old song. I went to the enemy's camp and took back what the um, took what took back what's been stole from me. Watch this though. If we confess, that's one thing that we have to do. He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so the day Bible says here, um, this his commentary, if we do one thing, which is confess our sins, God does four things. He'll be faithful to us. He's just to us. He forgives our sins. And he cleanses us from all, all unrighteousness. So go back to my little percentage there. Hopefully this makes sense. It makes sense to my finance mind to my math mind so if we had a hundred the world comes in steals 50 percent of that all we have is 50 left but then we get resaved and redeemed and the god we confess our sins and the lord comes in and he does it by goes by uh, multiplies it by four so he goes plus 50 percent now we're to 75 he goes plus 50 percent now we're 112, and he goes, plus 50%. Now we're 168, and he goes, plus 50%. Now we're at $253. Now we're at a 153% um, rate of return. So we're 153% we're past what we're, we thought our standard was. And so the encouragement for today is is that when the lord starts to dig deep in our lives when he starts to <clears throat> when he when he pricks us through a, a sermon like tj had about our guilt and shame of the past it's very difficult to face those things it's very difficult to dig deep back into that stuff um it's stressful it's literally stressful it spiritual the spiritual fight can cause physical exhaustion um but it's worth it because he he doesn't do um he doesn't get us back to our standard amount he goes above and beyond it and he gives us um it says when we give he gives back pressed down shaking and running over so don't give up don't um don't give up in the process of facing it feeling it forgiving it forgetting it okay um and maybe maybe you have to hit it multiple multiple times with the lord before it's solidified and that's okay because he he wants us to learn he wants us to grow in wisdom and um so anyways that's what i got you know if he, if the enemy's stolen 50 percent of your investment the lord's going to do a fourfold back and um but he wants he wants it can end he wants our um just partnership he wants us involved he's you know it doesn't say anywhere in the world word that when we get saved we're just going to float around and it's going to be easy um, it's always speaking of a fight. It's always speaking of don't give up. It's, you know, there's multiple stories of war and battle. And um, that's because the spirit, it, that's what's happening in the spirit realm. And so, Father, I just pray today for Mount Olive, Lord. I pray that we would be spiritually aware. And I just pray, Holy Spirit, that we would not give up, that we wouldn't be quitters. And that no matter what, Father, we would cling to you Um and just be relentless in this fight, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. Y'all have a wonderful Tuesday.